Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn some bitwise techniques for reading the bit status of or a particular bit status of a register of any microcontroller without even disturbing any other bits present in the register. Let's get started. So these techniques are useful for reading the input data register while we are interfacing any input devices like push buttons to our microcontroller. So we will see an example of a 32-bit register but you can also use this technique for even 16-bit or 8-bit register of a microcontroller. So the technique remains same. You can implement the same technique for any number of bits of the registers that is available in the microcontroller or any microcontroller. So on the screen you can see the technique or the formula used for deriving the bit status of a particular bit in the register. So here we have declared and used a variable called var. var is a particular user defined variable. And this is the register from which you want to read. And this is the bit number that you want to mask and find the status. So let's take the bit number to be 4 which you want to read the status whether it is a 0 or 1. These are the two possibilities that you will be reading from the bit. If it is 0 you will read 0 as the status of the value for this variable called var and if it is 1 you will be reading 1 as the value of this var variable. So the same bit number you will be providing right over here. So the sequence goes like this register ambition of 1 left shifted by bit number the whole of right shifted by the bit number times. So this is the sequence required for reading a particular bit number status without even disturbing any other bits in the register. And most often this technique is useful for reading the input status of register or input data register when you are interfacing input devices like keypads, push buttons etc to our microcontroller. So let's take an example for understanding this. So in this example we are just reading the bit number 4 of the register GPIO port data. So GPIO port data is the register that we want to read and we just want to find the status of bit number 4 whether it is 0 or 1. So these are the two states of a binary bit of a register 1 or 0. So we are just going to mask and find the bit number 4 status whether it is 0 or 1 and we are just going to load the result to VAR. So if the VAR is having the value 1 at the end that means the bit number 4 of GPIO port data is having the value 1 or high. If it is having the value 0, if the VAR variable is having the value 0, the bit number 4 of the GPIO port data is having the value 0. So if you interface a push button to a microcontroller, there will be two states, right? One is low, another one is high state. So whether you are using whatever technique you want, whether it is a pull up or pull down technique that you are using for interfacing push buttons, it will be having only two states. So the register bits will be also having two states. If the high signal is provided to the register bits, we will be having one as the input in the input data register. And if the low signal is provided to the pin of the microcontroller, then we will be having zero as the bit status of the register. So let's assume we are having low as the signal in the bit number 4 of the GPIO port data register. So you can see this is the 0th bit of the register and this is the 31st bit. So this is the value of where initially it is 0. And GPIO port data is this one. You can see GPIO port data initially it is having the value 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and this one is bit number 4. It is having the value to be initially 0. So let's assume it is having the value 0 first and then we will analyze for the high state of the data. And 1 left shifted by 4 goes on like this. We will be having only 1 in place of bit number 4 and all the other bits will be having the value 0. This is the 1 left shifted by 4 32 bit data. And when you perform GPIO port data register 1 left shifted by 4 for the case 1 that is for the case low of the GPIO port data 4th bit what happens is 0 ampersand of 1 will provide me 0 in the 4th bit position 
and rest all the bits also will be having zero since we are having zero initially in the gpo port data register as you can see on the screen so i will be getting all the bits cleared and particularly this fourth bit will be having the value zero as a result of this expression gpo port data ambition of one left shifter by four and as a whole when you perform gpo port data ambition of one left shifter by four right shifted by four times i will get the same result zero because we are having zero everywhere in this bit so for the case one of low state of the bit i will be having the value zero as the result which will be stored in the var register or the var variable so this is how a low signal is read so and now let's take the case two where i will be having bit 4 to be high initially in the gpo data register so you can clearly see bit 4 is having the value high initially let's assume that this is the case 2 and one left shifter by 4 is we know 0001 0000 so the same data and other than that all the other bits are zero and when you perform gpo port data ambition of one left shifter by 4 i will get one ambition of one to be one as the result of this binary operation logical operation and rest of the results will be having the value zero because each and every bit is having the value zero in the one left set by four and when you perform gpo port data ambition of one left set by four the whole of right shifted by four times you can see this one right over here in the fourth bit position moves right by four times so 1 2 3 and 4 so this bit will be moved to the zeroth bit position irrespective of the bit number that is why we are providing bit number right over here the same bit number right over here so when you provide right shifted by bit number what happens is the bit number will be set to 1 if the register is having the corresponding bit value to be 1 and when you right shift this whole value by bit number the corresponding set bit will be moved to the 0th bit position so as a whole i will be having only 1 or 0 as the result out of this whole expression and it will be stored in the variable called where or any other user defined variable as per your user program so now finally i am getting var to be 1 so this is how a high signal is read when a particular bit is high in a particular register whenever you are using this technique for reading the status of bit in a register so you learned a basic technique of reading a bit status of a register without disturbing any other bits in the register so the sequence goes like variable or user defined variable is equal to register ambition of one left shifted by bit number as a whole of right shifted by bit number times so in the next video we will implement this technique for interfacing push buttons with our microcontroller see you in the next video thanks for watching